Uh, Kevin, are you looking forward to all of these reality TV shows? Um, well, I think there's rather too many of them. I mean, it happens every January. Uh, I'm not quite sure why the t television channels have decided that January we should be we should drown in a tidal wave of these programs. I mean, it really does seem too many to come all at once. And I'm getting a bit fed up. I'm looking forward to Celebrity Big Brother, by the way, because that's a show that always Good. does perform well. However, I'm getting a bit fed up with these sort of pretend sports programs. I, I can't see the point of watching celebrities not skating very well <laughs> or, and diving even worse. So I'm a bit fed up with those kind of programs. Nikki, what's the enduring appeal of Big Brother? You've been on it twice, of course. I have. I'm, I've, I've actually watched every, every series since I left the house. So yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> I think I I don't think it's a um, reality TV overload. I think the idea behind it is probably because everyone's on a bit of a downer after Christmas, so it's easy TV to watch. You don't have to really use your brain, you know, um, and it's it's entertaining. And people moan about it, but they will end up watching it. Yeah. Well, you were entertaining. But not everybody's like you, Nikki. Listen, the, the X Factor and uh, Strictly have only just finished, and now the voice has moved into January as well. It, it, do you think it's overkill? Well, I think we're verging on that. I mean, the problem is, uh, that for the television channels, it's a very attractive genre. It's a lot cheaper than other forms of television. It's a lot cheaper than drama, it's a lot cheaper than documentaries, you know, and, and probably even cheaper than news. So. You know, they're always going to gather around it. Plus, you get this uh, the element of the uh, interactivity, the viewers taking part. A lot of people like that. But I think it's wrong to say that everybody loves it. It's not true. There's a lot of antipathy towards this show. Sure. How has Big Brother changed? Ask both of you, Nikki, first. How do you think it's changed over the years? Um, well, it's, it, the house is different every, every time. But the atmosphere and how people get on or don't. I mean, it's been, it's, it got a bit samey for a while, but I think since it moved to Channel 5, it's, it's sort of had a new life brought to it, which is quite exciting because... You can come again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Kevin? I think that, actually, I think what has happened since it moved to Channel 5, and even when it was at Channel 4, Celebrity Big Brother gets arguably better and better. It's always delivers. Uh, I think ordinary big, again or, or, <laughs> <laughs> ordinary big Brother has suffered a bad malaise, although yeah. the last series wasn't half bad. So fingers crossed that will get better. Well, everybody imagines that they know what it's going to be like or what they would be like in the house. What's your top tip to people going in? Just enjoy not having any responsibilities and make the most of it. Be yourself because you will always, your real self will always show eventually, even if you are, you know, playing a game. Um, and yeah, the most thing I can say is just enjoy it. Mm. And Kevin, what about uh, just a quick word on Dancing on Ice because it's the last series there. And uh, well, they've done they've done, they've done something kind of weird. They brought back all the favourites, be they good Ray Quinn, etc., mm. or terrible Joe Bascali, Todd Carty. So and Whitaker. Yeah, you know, so, so you just know there's no sense of competition. So it's a strange way to bow out. But mm. I presume they're worried about ratings.